Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You are welcome to the channel. Depending right. on where you are watching, you are welcome, <laughs> you are welcome to, the to the channel. All right, so um, whenever we talk about Ghana, Nigeria, we talk about Afro Afrobeat Banta. Bantes. We talk about Jolo Bantes. We talk about Nyash and Nyash Banta. We talk about Fair and Dark Banta. Fair and Dark, yeah. One Banta you wouldn't see Ghanaians and Ghanaians and Nigerians engaged in is fiscal Banta Bantes. or xenophobic yeah. Banta Bantes. or whatever. All right. Yeah. yeah. Before we get into the detail, my name is Seko. You already know me, and I want to introduce this gentleman. Please introduce yourself. So I go by the name God Fame. God Fame. Ah, you get fame now. Oh yes, I get fame. I get fame. I get fame. Mm -hmm. I get fame. And you'll be seeing me more often here. Yeah. So it's a new addition to the channel. You know, this channel pretty much um, as I've grown me. All right. So it's about time that we look at the expansion. Look at uh, being formal. All right. So now it's beyond. Um, me, as I said, it's no more only me sitting here talking to you, right? Yeah, we have our regular content and all that. All the favorite content you will enjoy from me, you'll be getting it. But also, we have having discussions like this, all right? Yes. Important discussion that I believe and hope you would love, all right? So what do you have for us, Godfrey? Um, something more mind-busting. <laughs> mind-busting. Let's yeah. say violence. Violence. Yes, violence I'm, I'm, academic. yes, I'm in for violence. You are in for violence. Yes, I was a scoop so, me, I'm not. Time. I'm not in for violence. So, hey. so yeah, so me, I'm me. in for peace. So yeah. I have this interesting story. I don't know if you found this on Twitter, but um, there is this topic going on that is bold for bold mm -hmm. and we are coming to dissect it let you know where this thing started from how and where it is leaning to yes yeah, so yeah and, and you know one thing about me or one thing about this channel is that we don't yeah. love to talk we don't want to talk about the issue as at when it's hot it's all right yes. we want the issue to die down and we go to root cause to see what really happened, happened. so it's not about just uh seeing it on the trending face all right talk about understanding it. the root cause of the whole matter all right yeah. so today we're going to talk about what really happened what a god fame is going to talk about i mean what good fame will share or enlighten us on we are going to dig deeper as to what really happened why we ended up this way or why nigerians and south africans ended up this way this so way. yeah just uh, get, get okay this. so i think some days back there was this hashtag boat mm -hmm. for boat on Twitter and it's boat for boat, yes yeah. it is really interesting where people are ordering boat, by boat acid boat, boat right. yes yeah. boat riding yes so let me take you back one pretty lady in South Africa mm -hmm. contested mm -hmm. for a pageantry mm -hmm. and she goes by the name Beauty Queen Chidema Adishima oh, okay and Nigerian and, and no not a Nigerian she has she roots. for Chidema yeah who is now Chidema is okay well she she has roots from Nigeria okay, like but Adishima no, Koro, yes Koro from Ghana. the Adishima is purely South African name oh, okay. so she's half half but she was born bred live and would probably have died <laughs> there but there is this there's the there, there is a case where um when she contested for this pageantry mm -hmm she went forward and mm -hmm. south africans mm -hmm. one way or the other saw her to be a threat to win the pageantry yeah so they came for her but you know i don't i don't really understand this thing between south, south africans, africans and nigerians, nigerians. I, don't, I, I don't think it's getting out of hand all right yes you know let me let me take you back all okay. right before i mean during the apartheid you know apartheid right yes south africans i mean like nigerians right mm -hmm. were levied or taxed to support the south of kindly british all right so just like in ghana we have the e, -E, 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 -E. we have the covid tax Red. ghana is most taxified country oh, yes. Africa. Car we are tax. Tax. Yeah, yeah. so whatever i mean like e levy or covid levy or whatever tax south of case way i mean nigerians were paying south africa tax or something like that okay. so a regular nigerian who have worked so hard for their money we're being levied where we're being taxed to pay uh just to support wow. the, 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 the freedom or whatever the liberation movement of, of, of the south, south africa. africa so wow. i i think um south africans are, are haven't been fair the rest yeah. of africans all right it's like now south, south africans some south africans feel that they are more refined blacks all right they are not the regular africans they are more refined africans can you imagine we have South white South Africans and black South Africans. I mean, there's nothing Why? wrong with that. We have Ghanaians, and so I mean, I'm cool, mm -hmm. right? Okay. But the fact that, look at this scenario. Uh -huh. 
during the election right the south african poll there is one candidate i think malema was mm -hmm. run on the ticket open borders okay. right okay where africans will be allowed to come just like ghana has this um, visa, free. visa free agreement with yes. South Africa? I can just pick yes. my South uh, my Ghana passport Passports. and go to South Africa. So yes. if you are South African, you don't know. I can just pick my Ghana passport and go to and South Africa. And you don't even see Ghanaians yeah. going, going to South Africa. All right. And when a, when a Ghanaian going to South Africa, they most most often than not they go there for vacation, so they spend money contributing to the economy of South Africa. Yeah. All right. Like me, if I'm going to South Africa, I'm just going to just look at the place, yes. go to Joburg, go vibe there, and come back. I'm not going to South Africa to hustle. To hustle, yeah. All right. What 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 was I even saying? All right. So during that time, South Nigerians were taxed and all that. All right. Yes. Fast forward, South Africans got their independence, mm -hmm. and now the South Africans now the new South Africans, the Black South Africans, who pretty much have ignored that history. All right. Or Is it that they weren't taught in school? I don't know. Maybe they are just some. For, we are we are the internet age. You can just go online and read. And about. such about. So, so they are downplaying other. They are playing the rules, all right? Downplaying efforts or sacrifices other Africans made for them for when them. they were struggling. Wow. All right. So as so as I was saying, one of the candidates, that's Malema, decided to run a ticket for open borders. Yes. And another, I think, another party led by some white group. I don't have any issue with that. Okay. South African, South Africa. Now they can't do anything about it yes they now have to live with the white just like african americans have to live with the blacks in america yes. all right it's no yes. trauma cool all right well i think the candidates the white dominant or dominated party mm -hmm. also ran the tickets like a close but i don't know right mm -hmm. but the bottom line is the reason why they voted against malema mm -hmm. was due to the fact that they didn't like the open border policy oh, they wow. didn't like the fact that africans should just put, would pick their passport and go to south africa oh come on all right and, and, and it's, it's it's mind busting it yes. doesn't make any sense that let anyone do it but for south africa like seriously an african right? country sometimes i go on to tiktok live all right i mean not my life i will join some tiktok live where they're having this kind of discussion i mean i join one tiktok live and one south of some south africans were saying they don't hate nigerians mm -hmm. but there are nigerians in south africa who are engaged in some hideous crimes like selling drugs to their children the question is where are they even getting the drugs from from south africa from south africa yes. all right and i'm not sure it's only nigerians committing those kinds those of crimes they are all yes. that nigeria is just part of the 30 percent 30 percent other um, groups in yes. south africa i mean i don't know whether you can share the yes. statistics yes i that. think um in um south africa yeah the immigrants yeah they have about 70 percent the 70 percent of foreigners in south yeah. africans come from zimbabwe mm -hmm. mozambique and lesotho yeah these are um the foreigners that are occupying the 70 percent that are predominant yeah taking the remaining 30 percent yeah we have countries like malawi yeah. the uk Eswatini, yeah. Namibia, mm -hmm. India, and Nigeria, alongside Ghana. other countries. Oh, so it's, even, so it's not even like 30 percent. Okay, it's mm -hmm. mega. Having the history, I think it's mind busting. Yeah. Knowing Nigerians helped in the liberation of um, yeah, 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 South yeah. Africa and doing this. So, fast forward, this lady came back to Nigeria. Yeah, she agreed. Ah, she so said she 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 did not allow her to start no she stepped so. down she withdrew from the competition why because they they were taunting her they were calling her all sorts of names come going after her family oh. her social media accounts but she was also i mean she's also a south african right? yes she's a south african born there mother or father mother father there and the mother think, is south african and yeah, the, the dad is nigerian yes that is that is the problem that is the only problem but her nationality is yeah south african, south african. So she withdrew. She said, "I've had enough. You could take your pageantry." Yeah. She came to. She came back to Nigeria. But she's now still. She's, she's, no, no. She she, she now. Revoked, yeah, she, she revoked her citizenship. She's, she's now fully Nigerian. Right. She she cool. in a video she she said she's back to her roots and she's happy and she's now contesting for a pageantry in Nigeria. Do you know one funny thing? Do you know who won the pageantry? Yes. No. A white lady <laughs> from having a, a, a dual citizenship won that pageantry nigerian someone with a nigerian root no no a white person from another year yeah that one that yeah. person won yeah. nigerians were like no yawa come back we have no issue with you a day passed nigerian boat drivers woke up 
to both sides having orders ah, they were so but happy. if you are getting both sides i'll be it's good to me yes. you know I've, I've, I've used i've done both before oh, really? I, I did it for a short a short time okay but when you get set it's money mm -hmm. it's money yes yeah so the money goes I mean, up it's a good news yes they, they were happy yeah they were really happy getting yeah. these orders and they will accept the ride drive to the location mm -hmm. tell them driver has arrived mm -hmm. and a minute you have no later, finished, but it's <laughs> they, will, they will just see ride cancelled. Oh. They will call them and they will just tell it's a prank. So this from is, South Africa. From South Africa. One South African guy just But, but both, don't they have uh, these things, uh, this thing, uh, Joe Fens? No. They didn't have I could still uh, order a ride. I'm in Ghana. I could just order a ride in South Africa. I see. Pick any spot in Johannesburg. Order a ride to any school, anywhere. And this wasn't just one one rider two three four yes, and the right. news started spreading see they and have association posted, yes posted and they were twitter. posting it on twitter that drew the attention of nigerians yeah and you know the population of nigeria they are over two million it, uh, sorry 200 million 200 million yeah it's over 200 million it's, it's, it's 300 million like yes, the gets to 300 million much, like you have a and large population they were like oh really south africans we thought we were, we were one this is what we are doing they have never been one, but then, I think it's, 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 yes, it's, 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 bring it it's, it's on. It's a tattoo. <laughs> We're like, wow, bring it on. We are ready for you. They also took their phones, bought data, started ordering rides. They ordered <laughs> and ordered and ordered. They go to a point yeah. where they ordered one particular group of yeah. people in a yeah. room, yeah. ordered to one location, <laughs> and there were over 20 cars at that same location waiting for the person to come and they all cancelled it oh Charlie. and one funny thing is one is losing one is gaining do you know that how they, they i mean like when you order a ride yeah, yeah. in nigeria and yeah. you cancel it yeah it is free just as in god oh, okay but when, when you, order, you order from south africa and the driver cancel you will pay that is the sad aspect of it. One thing, you know what the ball may pass in uh -huh. this whole thing. What really is, is annoying uh -huh. is that this 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 charade, this game that is happening is not going to affect the, the people who are who doing are it. engaged in it. No. Innocent people. Innocent I mean, some driver doesn't even know banter. That doesn't even understand the word banter. banter. I can't define the word banter. Yes. Some doesn't even I mean I, I believe some of them or most of them doesn't even use Twitter. Twitter. At all. No or X at all. They don't, they don't but they are the one caught in this crossfire. Yes. Wasting food. I think one guy was sent over hundred kilometers away to pick someone, drove close to two hundred minutes to get to the location. Nigeria, South Africa. Nigeria, the person drew from uh, from sure. a location in Nigeria yeah. to another location, spent like close to two hundred minutes, and got there, and it was a prank. That this is absurd. It is sad, funny, but it's really, really upset. It is upsetting, and these drivers are grown. Imagine some, some a sixty-year-old person some jokes waking up, up, and I heard one other girl was even crying. Yes. <laughs> the nigerians are really smart in, in these things they ordered a ride from yeah, johannesburg my father used to say you are clever <laughs> doing stupid things yes <laughs> they ordered a ride from johannesburg to <laughs> unilag <laughs> and the driver called and everyone was crying unilag University of lagos yes. south africa branch <laughs> south african branch and the driver called and was crying that oh i'm here there is no unilag in south africa <laughs> and this thing is going on imagine a 60 year old person Waking up in the morning, buying fuel, driving to a good this is not this is not fun. This is not fun. This is not a blessing. Not even a blessing. It's 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 bad. It is really bad. You see, always Ghana and Nigeria having banters, and our banters are so beautiful. You can't even hate it. You can't even bore. And you considering the fact that even this was not even started by Nigerians, was started yeah, by South, South Africans. They brought it. The, the moral lesson is: don't start what you can't finish. Now yeah. South Africans are shouting. They are crying. Don't invest more than you can afford. To yes. <laughs> you can't. You can't. Then you can't. Don't try Nigerians. But no, they will come to you. The only the only country that can punch way above their weight is. Ghana. It's Ghana. We, we can do it. Ghana, I think that ah, these people cry. Some, some even some Nigerians even think Ghana as a population of three hundred million. Yeah, but we will come for you. Nigerians, <laughs> they are coming for us. We will come yeah, for you. But but uh, this war, we can't fight. You know, I saw on Twitter uh -huh. that some Ghanaians were even showing Ghanaians uh, some Ghanaian Twitter, I mean, some Twitter guys from yes. Ghana were showing Ghanaians mm -hmm. how to order boats from South Africa. Yes, 
you, so, you could still do so, it. So you could, I mean, in that sense, some Nigerians were even supporting us. Supporting yes. Nigerians. Because you know, we are we we are more or less like yes, one. This game stay away from. We are not part. You don't call us in South Africa or neither can you win in Nigeria. In Nigeria. Yes, observe. Uh, sometimes yes. you should get tired of banking Nigeria. Sit somewhere. Just sit somewhere and enjoy the right, cook. Right, but I mean, on, on the more serious yes. note, this is not cool. It is, it is really really not cool. Yeah, it's because it's not it's not even fun. They right. are known for physical banters and how these things are going. It, there is a possibility that South Africans will target Nigerians again, yeah. and that is what we don't pray. We don't wish for that. Look, when these xenophobic events started happening yes. in South Africa, right? Nigerians retaliated, and uh, I mean, like the MTN, MTN, they attacked, MTN, they attacked, they attacked, they attacked the shop, right? Game, the game and yes, things, right. And guess what? Innocent workers. The whole, I mean, place or system was was well, well, Yes. Innocent workers, their life be disrupted and everything, all right? Good Same way. as, so, you know, these kind of things, like South Africa, I mean, my problem, I don't have any problem with any African. No. Right? But my issue is, the fact that some Africans see themselves to be more refined African than others, or it's than others is my, it's my, it's my, it's my doing. Like, it doesn't make any it doesn't sense, all right? Make it make and sense. And the fact that some South Africans think that all Africans, we all pray and we, we pray and fast, that we get a chance to come to South Africa to hustle. It's a lie. It's no. a lie from the pit of hell. It's, it's a misguided uh, a lie. I can just pick my passport now and come travel. To to yes. But I, I, but what? I will, I will come. All right. But not to stay. I can decide to come. I, I don't need to come to South Africa. Yeah, I'm right? even planning for a vacation day. Yeah. Just go and yeah, but go chill. Know, That's all. If I, if if I hear these things, all right, I can decide not to come. Yes. It's not. It's, it will scare us. Your, your economy. No, it's not good. All right. Because as people travel, I think South Africans don't like traveling enough. Yes. Ghanaians and Nigerians, we love to travel. travel. Even if we have, even if we have, we, we are comfortable. We want to, to explore. Just, to explore. So if you check YouTube, you see in two, on YouTube, people who are engaged in, uh, how do you call it, explorative expir content, content are Nigerians, travel, Nigerians, Nigerian Ghanaians, Maya, yes. Tayo, and Steve Nod, we are, but you, see, you don't even see much South, South Africans, Africans going around Africa creating content. Okay. All right. Because, I mean, so I think you guys should just open up a bit and, yeah. and think, that Africa, Africa is not South Africa, all right. Yes. And the fact that you come from South Africa doesn't mean other African countries are hustling or surviving, or they are. I mean, they are the billionaires in Africa come from Nigeria. Nigeria, all right. Nigeria has a billionaires. It's like heaven and hell on earth. <laughs> <laughs> they have the good, the bad, and the ugly. Like USA, I'm sure yes. USA is a place of everything. All the yes. and all the good. I mean, like, so I think we should, we should, we, we are, should. All, we are all Africans. Yes. We, are, we are all Africans. If you would gladly allow a white person to stand for Miss South Africa Universe and be pleased that she won, she won. I mean, why, why wouldn't you want a, a, a person from a Nigerian route to stand? No. We, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So South Africans, this is. This we are speaking out of love, out of right. love. We are one. one. Yeah, we are one. Yes, that thing is to show, Sean. All right. I mean, I, I know there are concerns. I mean, there are the legitimate concerns in South Africa that some Nigerians are engaging. But I believe that a criminal is a criminal. The criminal should, should be treated as a criminal. When, they, when criminal. a criminal is come to attack, you don't come with a camera flag. No. All right. It's only normal. Even in the US, when they catch someone, they name the nationality. It's a British nationality. Yes, it's that a is Russian. They so it's it's, it's, it's it's a tag one. Sorry, it's a tag that we can't. Uh, overlook, all right, but, but it shouldn't lead to yeah, hatred. Yeah, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. I mean, you shouldn't we, pick one person and then brandish everyone. Everyone as the same, like yes. you know that kind of thing. That's it's not cool, all right. Yes. Let's learn to live. Remember that some years ago in the nineties, all right, Nigerians came through for you. Nigerians were paying tax for, for you, you yes. all right. The same people you think now everything is cool, so they are your real brothers. You have to live with them. Fine, these people. I mean, pretty much made you a second second class citizen. All right, yes. you were killing you, doing everything. They are, they, I mean, they were. You know the story, right? But I mean, like Nigerians and other African countries came for you, came through for you, supported you. With every Ghana was even a safe haven for South and uh, South, African, South Africans. Yes. Uh, I mean, ex exile those were. I mean, Ghana pretty much was an, a safe haven for, for them. Who went yes. for uh, exile? All right, yes. we went to Dregs or whatever. Things called. All right. We so we all supported you. We are not saying because we supported you, we supported you, give us something, no. give us your country. But whatever be, I mean, there should be some kind of moderation. Yes. All right. There should be some, some kind of moderation and compassion. All right. Don't hate us. All right. We don't hate you. So 
make sure that whatever and this kind of thing shouldn't even transcend to innocent people like your your father imagine your father or your uncle or your grandfather asked them as a boy imagine you completed school you don't have a job decided to be a boat rider only to only to be caught in this crossfire of of stupidity mm -hmm. right That's now you have you have no idea yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so guys for sure for sure yeah. that thing if, sure even that thing. if we want to banter just look at how yeah. Ghana Nigeria and just use banter. Ghana Nigeria it's fun. banter be a model for yes. you right learn how to banter like Ghana and Nigeria yes it's, it's really fun <laughs> we, we wake right. up and banter so yeah, yeah. Guys. So guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Make sure that you follow and you like. I mean, we are we have more a lot of, a lot has changed, exciting right? content. And a lot has changed, right? And now we have we have we have expanded, all right. We are coming out with exciting, more exciting content, all right. And my content, the one I do personally, also will be available. And you you will be seeing this You'll one, see more, right? I'm it's bringing you back to back <laughs> yeah, exciting yeah, so, content. Yeah. So now we have expanded. We are growing, and we are counting on your unwavering support to make this place a place to watch or a place to be all right whenever you are sad or bored whenever whenever you come on youtube the first place to think about is a studios, studios, right? studios to come and see what's happening around africa right so guys thanks for watching this video we'll see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe yeah yeah, yeah. bye bye